uh, uh, do that full up to the lip. Which way? It's up to you. Yes. Everybody watch, uh, watch Madden up here. Everybody watch. We're going to do a full up. How? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Let's go opposite heel stretch. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. Here comes the ratchetness. Ready, and five, five, six, seven, eight, boom. What I need for you guys to do is instead of you guys, like I'm gonna bounce around here, what I need, what we want from this is for you all to be as versatile as possible. But one thing that I can say as a college coach is that the one thing that makes people stand out is versatility. When you can do multiple things, it is way more difficult for you to lose a spot because you can feel whatever voice the team has. Your college coach says you are going to be a flyer. And uh, she or he says she wants you to do an arabesque. Here we go. Arabesque. Ready? And five. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. In, uh, in cheer, people look at things as, as tunnel vision. So you like this. If you're looking at a sun, all you're thinking about is your sun. For me, I just look at how it affects everything that you do in that sport. When you do baskets, you struggle with standing about the basket. All those things lend itself or lend itself to other areas in cheer. So while you think to yourself, oh, I'm never going to need this as a flyer because I'm a base, what about in your round off? Driving up, driving up. It's a beautiful day to get strong. Yep, walk it on down. Slowly. Slowly is definitely a word. Walk like a crab. Walk like a crab, like a real live crab. We're gonna put a count to this. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Just like that as a squad. Ready? Everybody get down. 9, 10, 11, 12, keep going. 13, 14. You're going to have your arms out here. As you skip up the hill, you're bringing your knee up to the opposite elbow. Does that make sense? We're really working on driving this leg up. Got it? Go. You got it. Don't try to Good. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Start clean. Feet together. Smiles on your face. Hey. One, two, three, run. Front leg. Ready. Tight on. One, two, three, clean. One, two, three, clean. One, two, three, clean. One, two, three, clean. One, two, three, bridge. Help me, hold on, my daddy. We got one. We got a couple. Push hard, push hard, push hard. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was I will fun. take it. Two cups. Two cups. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Come on, Sarah. Let's go, girl. Live your best life. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Come on, Lex. Yeah. yeah. Run, 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 run! 
everybody, everybody pay attention, listen, listen, listen. Even the people that are dancing, like Peyton and I don't know what Scholar's talking about in the back, but I know she's not listening. So, a couple of things today. Today, my goal today is to work to continue. We worked on last week with shapes, being able to feel your shapes and understanding all those things. Now, what I do is I'm one of those people who can play and be serious at the same time, right? So, outside I was talking to Cheyenne about everything under the sun. However, I watched you guys do something that struck me, and it wasn't what I planned on talking about today, but it did catch my eye. I watched a lot of you guys kind of uh, rush through each one of the drills. So the same way you do your drills, what if you guys did cheer that way? What if you guys got into cheer and your experiences, your joys, all the fun you've ever had in cheer was over in the blink of an eye? That means you missed out on all the experiences point A to point B. I can tell you from experience, I know Coach Nakayo, Coach Alvin, Coach John, I love playing football. I love playing basketball. I love doing acro. I loved running track. And I look back in those times and I wish I could have a fraction of those seconds, those, that time back. But when I was in that time, I did not appreciate it. I've had multiple groups of friends. I've been around people who didn't really do much. All they kind of really wanted to do was kind of relax. They were complacent. I've also been around the people that I hang around now. And the reason that I can't let up is because they never let me let up. Talk to my mom. And my mom doesn't come visit me often. She lives in Missouri. I don't see her that often. I may see her once a year. My mom said to me once, and it was the crazy thing, it actually, it blew my mind. She said, Eric, I don't worry about you. Now mind you, I have a brother and a sister who have never left home. She sees them all the time. She said, I don't worry about you. I asked my mom, why don't you worry about me? No matter how old you get, you still love your parents. My mother said, I met your friends. She said, I met your friends, I have no worries. And I was like, huh? I couldn't even understand what she was getting at. She said, I know if your friends are about what they are about, then I don't have to worry about you being about what you're about. This is almost over already. What have you learned? What have you gained from being a part of this? How have you grown? If the answer is you're not sure, that's unacceptable to me. If you saying, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure, today you need to find out. From here on out, your job is to go as hard as you possibly can. So when people ask you questions, why do you want so badly to be a part of this? You don't have to answer that question with your mouth. You can show them because I can do this and you can't. This is what I am. This is what I'm made of and you're not. See, sometimes people shouldn't have to ask you if you're an athlete. You should just say, look at me. I am what I am because of what I do. You are not what you are because of what you say. That's what this is all about. And I need for you guys to go hard today like this is your last day. And then next week, like it's your last day. Every time we come in here, I need for you to act as if you don't get another opportunity at this. Because you actually might not. Cool? It's my time now, right? Yeah. <laughs>
If this still feels as hard as it did the first time we did it, that means you're not doing what you need to do on your own time. Ladies, do not allow yourself to give up. Do not allow yourself to be less than. Everybody's not at the same level. We understand that. But whatever your 100% is, give that 100%. If you do that, I guarantee you that 100% will be there when you need it. But if you always give 75, then when it's time for 100%, you won't have it. All you'll have is 75%. You have to give 100% of whatever it is you have right now. Push yourselves. Do not allow yourself to give up. Flutter kicks, go. If your parents say, Alexa, did you clean your room? You said, you know what, I tried. Here we go. <laughs> starting to come. Oh, Again, you're still in the death zone. No, no, no. But I'll take the death zone. Look how easy it is now. Your arms are like, I don't know what you're in for you. It was like the million blocks, the dad. You're applying, right? So we don't want you to change up as we work on the homework. And then when we test you, it's completely different. Got it? Because what happens, what I've seen in my short tenure in this sport is, Oh yeah, I can do this when there's no pressure. But then as soon as that pressure is applied, I've watched athletes who I've seen double full 10,000 gazillion times go down the world and throw a straight full. And I'm like, what in the world, what? It's like you're disrespecting yourself when you operate in that fashion. Got it? Do not change your check technique. We focus on technique, 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 technique. One, to keep you safe. That's your number one priority. Two, um, we focus on technique because it's efficient. It's way easier for you to be nice and tight and tumble when you're tired than to be loose. Got it? So don't change anything up. Everything has to be the same. Cool, let's see.
Ready? One, two, three. Let's see. Woo!